Jenny, a teenaged girl, walked into a little bookshop, gazing at the shelves filled with colorful books. She spotted the store's public telephone. She reached for the phone and dialed a number, her fingers expertly tapping the buttons. The shop owner, curious at the girl, quietly listened to the conversation. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. Could you consider hiring me to tutor your son in mathematics? Jenny asked confidently. A gentle voice responded, I'm sorry, dear. We already have a tutor for my son. Mrs. Johnson, I promise I can tutor him for half the price you are currently paying, Jenny offered eagerly. The woman on the other end replied, I'm very satisfied with the current tutor's work. Determined, Jenny continued, I'll also help him with his science homework, ensuring he is fully prepared for his exams. He'll be the top student in his class. No, thank you, the woman replied kindly. With a smile, the young girl hung up the phone. The bookshop owner, impressed by Jenny's perseverance, approached her. Young lady, I admire your determination and spirit. How would you like a job here at the bookshop? He asked. The girl looked up with a grin and said, No, thank you, but I appreciate your offer. Puzzled, the shop owner asked, But you were just pleading for a job over the phone. Oh, no, sir, the girl replied with a twinkle in her eye. I was just evaluating my performance in my current job. I am already the tutor for Mrs. Johnson's son. This was my way of doing a self-appraisal 